What up, though, YouTubers? RC Persuader here with a past due video. Uh, some of the things I've been working on, some of the projects. I'm going to try to, I know you heard me say this before, but I'm going to try to keep you guys updated. I appreciate my supporters and the Instagram people that follow me. I, I really appreciate that. I, I love, appreciate that. I love this hobby. It just keeps me, um, keeps me sane. And during these times with the whole coronavirus, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. So I hope everybody's are staying healthy, um, keeping a distance and finding you something that you enjoy doing to love and to help keep your time uh, moving fast. Well, keep your time occupied, I should say, and keep your mind off, off the ill shit that's going on right now. So here grow my TRX-4 build, and I hope you guys like it. So this is a TRX-4 Sport. It's the kit version. As you see, I uh, got the lights on. Uh, I shorted up the wheelbase. Get you guys over here it's a wee bit. I'm running the Axio Mighty FC Jeep body. Got the tail lights. I did it with, um, I was still able to use the decal and I just screw a light bucket from behind and then it shine through the decal. I did Tamiya light gun metal paint and I used the Tamiya black, but I flat, I put a matte spray up top. So what you do, you peel the leg sand off and then you peel the leg sand off where you want to paint the mat at to leave the protective leg sand stuff on this part. I think I'm saying that right, but you get the picture. I'm sure a lot of you guys already done it. So, uh, that, you got the brass diff covers, the Porto axles covers. I guess you call it that. Something like that. Sounds about right. That's what we're gonna run with. Got the Warren winch installed. And they actually work. Let me see if I turn it on for you. Let's see. It's connected to my third channel. Let me see. Something must have came loose. Let's see, let me see. Well, still plugged in. Oh, we got action, see? Okay. We're in the hobby wing. With a 3300 KV, 550 can, with a 5mm shaft. RC four wheel drive, rock guards, uh, some at the market bumper I got off Amazon. I had to, in order to fit this body, I had to cut the chassis rails to make it shorter. I attach the body post inside of the, the bumper, rear bumper mount. So give it that sleek look. Shorten the, that links on the rear. We got the wire winch on the bottom. That's about it. It's simple. I like it. It's 
pretty fast. Run on 3S. So, that's that. Servo pretty strong. It's a cosmic servo. At like 500 and some change ounces of torque. I do have a semi full interior. <laughs> I, had to, I had to chop a lot of the interior off. The, that's the only way I can get this body to stay stable is to run the pulse right through the cab of it. As you can see my guy. He's looking at you. Booyah. So that's it with the TRX4. And now once um, the weather changed, we actually got snow today. As of April the 17th, it's snowing in Michigan. So when the weather get better, take it out, get some trail runs. Let me show you. Uh, my boys crawlers. Uh, it's one of my boys. It's a Viterra uh, Blazer, K5 Blazer. These are your RC four wheel drive deep dish. No, RC four wheel drive rally wheels. I just flipped them over backwards. So it gave them that deep dish look. Took the rings out. Got a metal roof rack with the light bar. I still have to run the wires for his lights. Got to install his head and tail lights and do an interior for him. And I'm gonna uh, smoke the windows out in the back, black those all the way out. So that's, that's baby's boys. And I got some other son. This is um, 69 Blazer. I still have to change. I got Rock Beast on there now. I change them all out. Take these knockoff, um, these Amazon specials, Pro Lines. So, put these, put these on there. So that's it with the TRX4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to try my best and keep videos coming in. And my next video will be on my Limitless. I'm going to show you everything I've done with that. And that will be it. So, guys, stay safe. Keep God first. Peace.